Okay, so I'm Michael, Michael Molong. I'm uh, Mrs. Margaret Molong's son. So I'm receiving the award on her behalf. Uh, she can't make it out here because of uh, medical reasons. But then since this whole thing started, I've learned quite a lot of what actually happened. I really didn't know a lot then. And uh, especially the lady of the lamp, with the lamp thing. That part was something really, really, I think, I, I, if I try to remind her when I go back home, I'm really not sure that she's going to remember it again. I really am not sure. But anyway, I was not born then. I was born just after that. But from anecdotal experience, what I've heard from my sisters, my mother never talked much about her work. But for my elder sisters, the only thing they could say was that they remembered during the war when sacks of money used to come into the house. That was provided by the central government of India to help with the relief work. So they were shoved below the beds. So my sisters used to sleep on the beds, the money below it. My mom and dad used to take turns looking after the money. So they'd sleep at two hours. My mom would sleep for two hours. My dad would be there holding a small short piece of a rod, a steel rod. Then after two hours, he'd come, sleep. Mom would go. She'd do the same thing. So there was no security at that point of time. So this went on for quite some time. I really don't know how long it went on. And then uh, I did hear about it from a few other people, but then there were no specifics out there. I'm not sure whether I should be saying this on camera, but then I actually heard it because a lot of people made their money then. <laughs> That's what happened. And then when I actually came over here, saw the museum, looked at the pictures, the photographs, and things like that, I, how will I put it? I can't actually place myself there because I wasn't there when it happened. But then even when you look at the photographs, the children, things like that, it must have been a really difficult time, difficult time. And knowing my mother, at least with the experiences that I have been with her, she would have tackled the bull by the horns. In a difficult situation, she'd just face up to it and do what had to be done. And there were times when she's placed her family secondary to her work too. I mean, her work was the most important thing. Get that done. When that is done, then she comes back home. And uh, all I can say again, the last thing is that uh, I'm sure she did the best that she could have done then. She couldn't have done it any better. Maybe she could have, but uh, considering the constraints, the resources and everything that were available at that time, I think she did the best she could. The first thing is the lady of the lamp, with the lamp, sorry. That was new, completely new, I'd never heard about it. The second thing is when I spoke with Colonel Sajjad Ali, he had told me that people actually remember her, people from Bangladesh who met her then. Now that happened a long time back, for them to have remembered is quite something. And I just wish, I honestly wish she had been here herself. I mean, she deserved every little bit of honor that they've bestowed on me. I've proxied for her, so to say. But she deserved every bit of it. And she should have been here, but then that's the way it goes. She had a heart. She didn't like suffering. So when it was there, either with the Bangladesh or related to any other incident where suffering was involved, she didn't like it. She couldn't stand it. So she would do whatever she could within her power to try and straighten it if possible, if not alleviate it to a certain extent, maybe. But she couldn't just stand and watch. Too dead. Too dead. She can't stand and watch it. And she remembers this. She forgets a lot of other things. I was supposed to come for the program, which was supposed to be held in October. But due to certain reasons, I couldn't make it. It was postponed to December. Two days before I came here, before I left Shillong, she actually remembered. After three months, she asked me, when are you going to Bangladesh? Are you leaving tonight or tomorrow? So I said, no, I'll be leaving tomorrow in the evening. She remembered, strangely, <laughs> strangely. Now, that's a recent memory. With her condition, you tend to forget the recent memories. The older memories, you might remember them, may not remember them, it depends. But she remembered. I think they're proud of what they have. I mean, it's there everywhere for everyone to see. You can hear the music outside, the lights. It doesn't really happen like this back home. Independence Day, India, I mean, it happens. Everybody celebrates okay, but they're not at this level. No way. No way. This is something else. And it's nice, I think. If you're proud of your own country, nothing like it.
of thing that gets